I'm pretty sure by now most of you guys must have seen either this video or this video. So basically two videos about road rage and that's what I'm talking about today. Now I believe that most cases of uh, road rage really really stems from having too much pride and an ego larger than the continent you live on and I guess that's pretty much why the vast majority of the cases of road rage are perpetuated by young men with more balls than brains now I have friends that have done this kind of thing before you know you smash mirrors because somebody cut you off uh, somebody you know uh, races you and then you want to you know goes faster than you pretty much and, and and then you engage in a bit more reckless riding to prove a point that you're a better rider come on and I am pretty much no sane myself I have <clears throat> I'm not proud to admit it but I have smashed mirrors before <laughs> but I, I can safely say that after I got home I, I felt a lot of regret for doing that particular action <laughs> long long time ago I think it was my the, the first or second year of my time as most cyclist I'm not exactly proud of what I did but the thing is road rage it doesn't really help anyone especially not us motorcyclists in fact I, I think road rage is more detrimental to us if we do it or or we are the aggressor no matter the cause or no matter the reason because at the end of the day we are exposed to the elements we are on two wheels and the fact is that most Singaporean riders don't even protect themselves with gear in the first place which makes it even worse and at the end of the day if you smash a mirror or you outrace somebody else on the streets what do you what have you proven pretty much nothing you just made the other guy more angry and more likely to want to kill you so basically my idea is you know give you a bit of tips on how to prevent this in the first place how to be a bit more zen I guess the first thing is before you even ride always make sure to never start a ride angry that means if you have family problems issues problems with your job back home you've argued with your wife or your girlfriend please maybe consider taking the bus or the train don't go to work on your bike angry because it's more likely to spark you off if you encounter assholes on road the next step is take your time try to make sure that you know whatever you do you are not intending to go somewhere you know uh, in a rush you know when every when you are in a rush you tend to get yourself a bit more flustered and that exacerbates the issue of road rage Oh my god my third tip is try and go to work or pretty much get anywhere during times that are off peak if you are working a shift job maybe not the problem if you are like me you work a nine to six job it might be an issue but if you can try and negotiate with your employer so that you can go to work with less traffic and of course at the end of the day a lot of the main reasons that spark a action of road rage is probably being too over competitive with literally nothing I try and remember not to be too competitive at the end of the day it helps I mean you can't change somebody's personality people are sometimes naturally competitive by nature but if you can try and make yourself aware that you are what you are at the very least it does help a, a bit 
And if all else fails, well, just remember that Big Daddy is watching on the poles right here and everybody around you. In general, usually when I encounter cases where I could get mad, my favorite go-to solution is to just stop and go and get myself a cup of coffee, calm myself down. That's really all the advice I can give. Hope you, you know, took some of this advice to heart. Hope it will help you in future, prevent uh, some stupid situations that you could get yourself into. So slow, don't block.